Hey, hey, Jose. Hi, Mr. Evelyn. How are you, Jose? I'm fine, thank you. And good. you? I'm doing good. That's great. It's a pretty good day. With, with cold? How are you cold? A little bit, actually. It's Today, it's really, it's really cold. All day, right? Yeah, yeah, actually, it has been. It has been pretty cold. I, I was actually a little surprised because, you know, it, it's... I'm not usually cold, but in the morning I, I I got out of bed and I went to the bathroom and I said, "Holy shit, this is cold!" <laughs> yeah, it's really cold. And yeah. when I got my my bath time, I I feel <laughs> really really cold. And tomorrow maybe it, it continue this with this cold kind front. of weather, weird weather weather. Weather. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, you know, and, and I, this is kind of like, I, I understand that this is really the weather that we're supposed to have like in, in, in October, summer. in October for, for, yeah. for the wind, for the wind. That's what people say that, oh, these are the, the weather of October. Yeah, and exactly. <laughs> but when it, it, the, the weather is like this, always my noise, uh, it's, I, I I really feel like um, like a little um, ir irritate mm -hmm. in yeah. your throat and the nose is a little yeah. stuffy or you yeah. know yeah. uh huh all of exactly. these mm -hmm. because of that I, I have my tea next to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 it's a good idea I like I I I like to drink a lot of tea I pre I actually prefer tea most of the time um, over coffee because coffee oh. coffee is, is good but mm, I usually use it for for a specific purpose I have to wake up I, I need some more energy something like this but yeah. for relaxing or for warming up it's usually a tea or hot chocolate for me both of them are really great <laughs> mm -hmm. doesn't matter about the, the weather and and the and the time, <laughs> but in at the morning I enjoy uh, the coffee. And what's your favorite type of tea? Or sorry, what's your favorite type? Uh -huh. uh, my my tea. Um, I don't know how to say it, manzanilla and Cam ginger. Chamomile, 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 chamomile and ginger mixed together. Mm, no mix, but sometimes. Okay, I used to I used to make it uh, mixed. I would take the ginger and, and boil the ginger in the water, and then ah. and then I use this water to make the chamomile tea. Ah, <laughs> this, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and because you only want the flavor, so you only need a little bit of of, of ginger because if not, it's really spicy. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the idea is, is really spicy. yeah, the idea is is to to have a blend, not to be ginger and then a little chamomile. No, you want the flavor of both. So, the chamomile because it's soft, you need more. So only a little bit of ginger for the water, and then the same water you use to prepare your tea for the chamomile. Oh, that that's a good idea. <laughs> it, it it really helps with the throat because the ginger helps with the throat and the chamomile is relaxing. So, for me, I think I think it's good with with some honey and I'm good to go. Oh, I I I I, I put some some honey too, mm -hmm. but sometimes I I I don't I don't put it in in my tea. Okay. Yeah, I know I know Elizabeth and Romulo. They they prefer uh, uh, tequila. And for when they have a sore throat, they have one, two whiskey. tequilas, whiskey, <laughs> Patricia, a little bit of whiskey, and she's happy. And she says, ah, my throat is relaxing. <laughs> That's the best medicine. Do you see? You see? <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> I know, I know. And Rocio prepared it. Look, look in the pictures. You can see Rocio's ah, the first one to say, nah, the flower for pictures, the tequila for this weather. 
Each <laughs> teacher talking about tequila. There you go. Oh, there you go. I have, I have, I have right one. here. The, the class finish and begin the party. Excelling, <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, everybody like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the party? <laughs> it's, it's every day. Every day is a party. <laughs> yeah. I usually try to maintain. A, a, I have a, a, I have a small bar, but the the bar I, I put in my bedroom. <laughs> just like, just like Break me. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and my and my kids say, Dad, why is the bar in the bedroom? I said because only your mom and I drink. It's not necessary. <laughs> Only your mom and I drink, so we are in the bedroom and we want to watch TV. We want to relax. We just we have our little bar and that's it. Nice. That's right. Mm -hmm. So it's good. Um, Jose was talking about the weather today. That it's been really cold and, and windy. That and, and it's gonna be colder, 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 colder. Mm -hmm. But Jose says it's going to continue for a few more for for how many more days, Jose? Or, or? I, I think all all week. All week. All week. Shit. Until Friday. I, I don't know. I don't know. But but the, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna uh, wake uh, wake up with uh, fifteen. Uh, rate. Degrees. Wow. Degrees. Fifteen. Fifteen degrees. It's going to be cold. Yet prepare, mm -hmm. be prepared. And and the the problem for me is tomorrow, I have a I have a a job and I have to go. I have to leave the house at six a.m. So it's going to be. Oh. Uh huh. So I have to wake up at five. Hmm, take a shower and it's going to take be. Take a shower. Yeah, it's going to be. Are you sure? Hmm. Are you sure you're gonna take the shower? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I take the shower tonight. It's better tonight and then tomorrow only wash my face. <laughs> but tonight, I think uh, it's, it's really cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already, cold. It's already kind of cold. It's true. It's true. And how's everybody's day? Everybody have a good day today? Yes, teacher. Mm, yeah, yes. For me? Yeah. A normal day, okay day? A normal day. A normal oh, day. A normal day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. To, we are actually going to continue with our topic from yesterday, which were phrasal verbs. Do you remember? We, we started to see them yesterday. Um, we had the idea, at least the concept of, you know, what they are, like uh, turn up, uh, turn down, turn left, turn right, turn, or, uh, turn around. This is the phrasal verb. Is the word turn is the same word, but when you change the preposition, in, on, uh, about, then it changes the meaning of the word, of, of this expression, which is called a phrasal verb. This is the same for the other situations, okay? So you can say, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, put. Put down and put up are two different words, completely different, but it's the same put. The first word, which is the verb, is the one that you can put in past, present, or future. The second word, which is the preposition, cannot change. This always has to be the same. The reason is because this is the, the second word is what gives the meaning to the phrase of verb. Okay, that's the key word. The first word is the one that gives the that sets the time. But the second one, the combination, is what gives the meaning. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a little bit from showing you where we left off yesterday to see if we still remember. Okay, we have eight different sentences. Let's take a look one more time to begin reviewing. Um, the first sentence, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend. Do you remember what is broken up? Yeah. Okay, Romulo, what was broken up? It's uh, like a... Uh... Uh, cut uh, when the no it's when when uh, uh, you we separate finish or end the relationship with other persons that's right that's right it's when you end the relationships that's right you separate okay 
What about number two? It says, Kevin came up with a great idea for a class reunion. What does that mean, came up with? No, nobody has like, like a thing. That's right, Patricia. It's like think. Came up with it's like create. So if you came up with this, you created. You thought of this idea. Mm -hmm. So the same can be. You can change. Yes, yes. I I have a question because uh, it's, it's 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 confusing me because, for example, I was I was um, reading an um, example. Did you hear the alarm go off? Why they using go off and not okay. go on? Because <laughs> it's uh the, the alarm is 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 uh is um is running um so why they use off instead of on? Mm, because it's like the explosion. The explosion is off. So it it, it removes because the alarm is not is not on. So you put the alarm, you put on the alarm. And when the alarm go beep, 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 then the alarm goes off because you put on. Or you set the alarm. This is the idea. So with set is the on and with uh, activate is off. Oh. Mm -hmm. So set, set to set is gone and when the alarm uh, activates, it's activate is go off. Correct, it goes off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's take a look at number three. It's, I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. What is this looking forward to? Okay, so looking forward to is what is your expectation? What, do, what are your plans? So maybe this weekend you're going to the beach and you are excited about this. So you are looking forward to going to the beach. You are expecting this. Here, you are not expecting, you are not looking forward to typing your essay. Like planning? Um, like planning, but the difference is that is with excitement is when you're looking forward to something is you are excited about the activity. You are excited about what's going to happen. Like children, children always look forward to Christmas. They're always excited about this. Mm -hmm. So looking forward is that you are excited about the future or about that event. Yeah, what I see about these uh, uh, phrases is that it's not usually, I mean, when, and when we want to use it, I mean, not really use it, we, we use more, uh, you know, uh, normal words or more basic words. Mm -hmm. More direct words. Yeah, like... Mm -hmm. Because I could say I'm not planning to type in my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. That's what I said. Kind of, kind of. But remember, looking forward to is not is not is not like planning. Is that you are your expectation? So, for example, the 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 that um, yeah. Mm -hmm. like. I have I I have a uh, a work uh, next Saturday, mm -hmm. and I don't like uh, work Saturday. Mm -hmm. But I professional I I I have a work. Is the like a uh, long looking for forward too? Yes, Patrice. It's like not looking forward to correct. I'm not looking forward to working on Saturday. Is you are not excited about this. 
not that you plan is your you yes. uh -huh, is your expectation for this mm -hmm. but uh you can use for the you're looking forward and and the and the positive right yeah looking forward is the positive and not looking forward to is the negative okay uh -huh. mm -hmm. So maybe for your birthday, you are excited about your birthday. Oh, I am looking forward to my birthday. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, you have to work on Saturday. Oh, I am not looking forward to working on Saturday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I am looking forward to travel, right? Correct. To, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, with Romulo, always with ING, to traveling. To travel. Traveling. Ah, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. After, after to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Traveling. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's look at number four. Number four is my doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Okay. So what is cut down? What we understand is cut down. Reduce. Correct. This is reduce. It doesn't mean eliminate. It means minimize. Reduce. Mm -hmm. This is cut down. Okay. Number five, Rob can't keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. What, we, what can be the meaning of keep up with? As, as you said, teacher, to be in the same level. Correct, Esmeralda. Keep up with is to be at the same level, is to maintain the same rhythm as the other. So if you are running, or if you are driving or whatever is keep up with is to maintain in the same as the other people. Okay. Number six, I can't put up with. Teacher, the, sorry, sorry, teacher, keep up this, uh, uh, maintain the, the same level. Correct. This, uh, okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. So if you are in a marathon and the other people are running and you maintain with them, you keep up with them. Mm -hmm. Okay, or at work, maybe you have a lot of activities to do, and you are you are finishing the projects when you are receiving more. So that means you are keeping up with your work. It's not that you are accumulating. Keep up is you are maintaining. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Number six. I can put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. Sorry, I can't. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. What is put up with? I don't have patience for something. That's great. That's what it means. Yeah, put up with this. That you, if, if, if it's positive, it means yes, you have patience. If it's negative, it's no. You okay. don't have patience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Number seven. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Doesn't like each other. Right. That's you right. Like, uh, are, you are agree with the other person. Yeah. So get, a, get along in the positive is have a good relationship. Don't get along is not have a good relationship, is have a negative relationship. Don't get along. Okay. Yeah. All right, then we have number eight. Bill can't take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. What could be that? Can't take care of. In this sentence, I think uh, it means about organizing in the way of, of, of finance. Okay, very good, Jose. That's what it means. It's organized. Mm -hmm. And the idea of take care of is to manage or to be responsible for something. So if you cannot take care of something, you cannot be responsible for that. Are all of these phrasal verbs okay? 
Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Now, okay. Here are some of the meanings that uh, we have. Uh, I'll send them to the WhatsApp group. Um, and they are for the words that we just learned. So what we're going to do is with our partners, we're going to look at the meanings and we're going to say, what is the phrasal verb that matches those meanings? Okay, so the phrasal verbs we just learned, what would be the correct meaning that we think of for each one? You can check in the WhatsApp group or 4.4 in the platform in order to get it. 4.4. 4.4. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one with your partners and match the phrasal verbs to the meaning. If you're not sure, just check the WhatsApp from yesterday. Hi, you know, and recall, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time we'll show you a list of three words, phrasal verbs, that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out. the the phrasal verb phrasal uh -huh. with the 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 meaning right for example the letter b is a uh, looking forward right uh -huh. let me yeah letter 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 b for me is a uh, the meaning as all the the uh, the phra phrasal verse is uh, looking forward. Looking what forward. do you think? I think, yeah, it's the, sorry. Yeah, it's the number B. It's the letter B. <laughs> huh? No, letter A is uh, looking forward, right? Oh, be exciting for something, something to, happen. to happen. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And Letter B is uh, let me check. In a romantic relationship, is the norm, is the is a get along. Or, or broke up with. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, letter C, keep pace with, uh -huh. with someone or some pace. Keep um, pace with someone or something. Maybe here is the. Uh, it's a. Uh, keep up with. Put up, yeah. Keep up, keep up with. Put up with, right? Exactly, exactly. No, keep up. Uh-huh, yeah. Keep up. Yeah. With. Exactly. No, yeah, yeah. no, no. Teacher, uh, do you explain the activity, please? I can hear, teacher. You are going to match? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Here are the meanings. You are going to match the meanings to the phrasal verbs that we just we just did. So the phrasal verbs that we just learned, which is the meaning? So you're going to match. Ah, okay. For example, letter B, uh, the is the broken broken up with, for for example. Correct, because that's what the meaning is, to end a romantic relationship, exactly. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. I guess, but, some, mm -hmm. but, but also if you read F, it says, have a good relationship with someone. Oh, yeah. 
keep yeah peace. that's that's get along with keep peace with someone or something could be i oh, don't know okay let's see no i mean letter d it says to be put up okay okay huh? let's do next uh-huh tolerate tolerate something you don't like okay that i don't know that one i think it's put up with hmm. ah yeah because yeah mm -hmm. yeah which one was, was that that was no, letter D. D. Yes. Okay. D go with uh, uh, six, right? Okay. Now E. It says read. I really have problem with. Hmm. Let me check. Let me, let me right check. Now. Yeah. Oh, number two and number three. I have right. Okay. No, oh, you didn't remember. Let me, let me. Okay. Mm. Wait, 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 Arthur. No wait. problem. Okay. Okay, which one? Ah, uh, part three. Uh -huh. But the, 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 the sentence, it's the number one and the number four. But the complete, yeah. sentence, complete letter A, B, or? The children, the kindergarten children always are looking forward to their kindergarten variation. Yes. Um, letter. Oh. Excuse me. My son is the class English too. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Don't worry. Um, think of came up. Yeah. Came up. Came up. Yeah. Um we're done. Okay, so, no but number no, the, the letter C uh -huh. the C was then with uh one, two, three, four, five keep up with okay <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we did it, I think so. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah. Everything is okay, you got the idea? Uh no, I think I got it. We, we got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No problems then. Mm, yeah. Not really. Okay. No. Great. So like Elizabeth was saying earlier, it's, you know, to, to be honest, you need to practice using them in order for it to be clear. Because if you don't, it's, it's, it's not. It, it, maybe you know them and you'll hear them and you have an idea, but if you don't use them normally, it's going to be very difficult for you to get accustomed to to having them and it's just a matter of um do you want to use there's so many of them that it's impossible to to memorize them all it's just a matter of which ones do you use some of them are used more frequently some are not used at all some of them um are regional some people like to use phrasal verbs some people don't like to use phrasal verbs so. <laughs> Some people didn't even know what they are and they use them and they have no idea if they are or not, or they, they aren't expressions. Yes. Yeah, like I say, I mean, it's uh, to understand with my reading, I can understand what um, they're talking about, but um, to use it, me, use it, that uh, phrasal verbs is, uh, yeah, yeah, I have to memorize it. Mm -hmm. So that's what it comes down to. I mean, and some of them you already know because some of them you already use. For example, you know, like very common, like, hey, turn on the TV. 
turn off the radio, turn up the, the yeah. volume, you, you know? So mm-hmm. some of them, some of them are, are, are common and you don't even think, okay. oh, these are phrasal verbs, but you know, others, right. and those are usually the ones that are only two words. The ones that are two words are part of our normal vocabulary. The ones that are three right. words is usually the ones that take a little bit more effort to, to try to learn them. Right, right. Okay. All right, let's go back, see what we learn. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? I think for most people it was pretty good, but you never, you know, sometimes you just want to check or something. Anybody have any questions? Teacher, in the case of the third person, we have to change the verb. Uh, what do you mean? For example, like he or she? Yes, if I say she gets up with or something like that. Ah, yes, 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 I understand. Yes, you do. That's correct. So if it's a third person, you do need to change the verb. So, okay. you know, you know, uh, Where? You know, she puts up with or she stays up with or whatever it is that you're saying. Yes. If it's going to be a third person, then you need to put with S. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, great. So now we're going to go on to our next topic, which is a topic a little bit more meant for a conversation. Um, our topic, as you can see, uh, 4.6 is, I need a date. Ha! Huh. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so the idea is, ah, I need a date. So let's watch the video first, and then we'll talk about this I have vocabulary and information about dating. Hi, let's begin by asking some questions. When, where, and how did you meet your wife, husband, or that special someone? Type your answers on our discussion box. As well, I want you to listen to the conversation and find out what Mike suggests James to do. I need a date. Part A. Listen and practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. But the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. (laughs) <laughs> what are some other good ways to meet people? What do you suggest? Share with us. Okay. So, what are the recommendations or what do they talk about? How can you meet someone? What do they say? Looking for the... Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, uh, Roman. Don't worry. Looking for uh, the internet. <laughs> okay, looking for the internet. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Romulo, you're you're married, right? Yeah. Okay. How did you meet your wife, Romulo? Uh, at the work. At work. Yeah, at work. Yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, Romulo is one of those that say no relationship in work and say, secret, it's a secret, it's a secret. (laughs) (laughs) Only met. (laughs) But uh, don't don't go together, right? (laughs) Uh Okay, okay. So tell tell us a story. Go ahead, Romulo. This is the idea. The idea is talking about how you met somebody, your your ex-girlfriend, your ex-boyfriend, or, you know, where do you usually usually meet people? Where do you meet the people? In do you meet them at work, at church, at the supermarket, you know, in the street, at a party? 
my case, uh, I, I, I met uh, my wife at, at, at the at work, uh, in the work, right? But uh, I n never uh, worked together, right? I visit sometimes at some office, uh, uh, and I met, and after that, I we had a, a Christmas party, right? And for the company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw the opportunity to the conversation with her, and yeah, they start the 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 relationship, but like uh, only friends, right? That that day, I I I, I dancing and talking a lot up about the yourself. Uh, herself and myself, yeah, uh, and uh, keep in contact for the uh, long time, yeah, and, and, and when the, I think, uh, I, I, I think uh, I, I, I know better her, I decide to, my, my decision to 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 get or 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 accept me to uh, uh, like a, a boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, I uh, we. Uh, We well, okay. we had been for uh, um, married for seventeen years. Yeah, long time, Romulo. Long time. Long Congratu time. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> we have uh, two two children. Ah. No children, but a, a, a teenager and, and, a, and, a, and a little boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's great. And you, she continues to work in the same company as you, Romulo? No, no. Okay. Uh, that time, yeah. no. All right. Great. Yeah. Great. Anybody else? How you met your partner or your significant other? No. Okay. All right. No. <laughs> Everybody's thinking about the ex. That mother. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me. Don't make me start it. Don't make me get the tequila and get start speaking everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, in general. Where do couples usually meet? Ramulo mentioned one very common location. It's very common for couples to meet at work. Okay, where's another place that couples can meet? Sometimes in El Salvador, right, is uh, in, in your neighborhood, right? Uh, okay, because there are people from the neighborhood, usually in the same communities. That's one. They go to the same activities or the same places, mm -hmm. the same pupuserias. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, where else? Where else can you? Where else is it common to meet someone? At the church. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, there we there we go. We got another one at church. Mm -hmm. That way you have the same beliefs or the same criteria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the school, at the university. Ah, yes. Many couples meet when they are at the university or uh, in the schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very common place. What about in the street? Do you, do you meet people in the street and they just, hey, and they introduce themselves? 
No, teacher, it's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous. It's, it's, it's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, this yeah. is very this is very important because this is very cultural. Because in our culture, we don't accept and we don't give information. So even if the person is nice or look nice, especially if we don't know the person and they say, Hey, um, you know, can, can I give you a call? I'd like to contact you. Can we talk? And, mm, and a self alert. No, no, no. I don't have a phone. Yeah. It's very difficult. <laughs> no, it's, it's, a uh, uh, if the people don't trust, trust. Yeah. And, someone easily right as uh, you need to know uh, where are you from or you you know your family I don't know uh, or this is your classmate or your co-worker but uh, in the street is very difficult <laughs> yeah okay because yeah because of the security Romulo yeah yeah yeah, I think this is one of, of, of our culture because in other cultures, the people meet in the bus, in the train. Hey, they they stop, they ask, hey, can or they say, hey, can I have your Instagram? Hey, can I have your uh, Facebook? Can I talk to you? And and then they begin in this way. And then you know you can always have the different i the different ideas. And and I I think it's more dangerous when you when the people say, hey, can I have your Facebook? Can I have your Instagram? For me, this is more dangerous than your telephone because they, in your Facebook, you have a lot of personal pictures, information. A lot of information. A lot yeah. of information that you, that you share with your friends and family, right? Because that's the idea of your life or your things, but mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. So that's, that was just the idea. The idea for, for that one is very easy, just talking about, uh, you know, where to meet people and what to do. Now, let's talk about the dating. What is the common activities that people do on the first dates? So, usually, where, what, what is the activities? Maybe take a walk. Okay, common. Take a walk, go to a park. Yeah. Go to the movie. Okay, go to the movies, not talk, be in silence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it, but oh. it's true, but it's true. It's very common, very common to go to the movie for first date. Mm -hmm. Go to the dinner. Ex that's another, it's another one. Okay. And when you go to the dinner, who pays? Uh. Bottom. <laughs> No, it's as as uh, the traditional. It's the, is the, it's the, the no, 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 Romulo. Who pays, Romulo? Who pays? No, me. In my case, me. Okay, exactly. okay, okay. In your case, you. Yes, but this is for the generation because you ask Jose, Jose, if you go on the first date, who pays? Um, half and half. They yeah. they split the they split, <laughs> they split the bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so, right? Because this is how you're, that the first dates are the basis for the relationship. And the basis is, we are, you know, 50-50. You have a job, I have a job. It's different. It's different if the person doesn't work, for example, or, or something like that, then you understand. But it's very interesting because our culture is when you say, hey, let's go to the movies. Hey, let's go to dinner in our culture is I pay for you. But in the other cultures is let's go to the movies is you pay for you and I pay for me. We only go together. But here in the moment I say, let's go to the, let's go to dinner. Everybody, hey, the teacher invites. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hey, we go to the, <laughs> we go to the same restaurant. If you want to eat, you eat. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on teacher. Uh-huh. So what other, what do you think are your favorite activities to do? Do people go dancing on the first date? They go to a bar or a club or something like that? Yeah, yes. It happens. It happens, okay, all right. What about to church? Do people go to church on the first date? It happens too. It happens too, right? They say, hey, can, can, I, can I go with you on Sunday? 
and then you are going to church, but you are going together. I mean, you sit together, you pray together, they, ah, I say, little by little, little by little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was the, the main topic for that. Our next topic is, which was, that was a pretty easy one. Our next one in 4.7 is looking at modals plus verbs and negative questions. So we're looking at how to make suggestions using gerunds, infinitives, okay? So what is this idea? What is the idea of making suggestions? A suggestion is the same way that you say a recommendation, okay? Now, the recommendation, we normally use the word Ready? should, but it's not necessarily only should. We can use different words, okay? We can make here, we can take a look, all right? We have many different words, okay? We have different expressions that we can use in order to make those recommendations. Let me put that into the WhatsApp. Okay, so one more time. What is making suggestion? Is another way to say a recommendation, okay? So you can use it by making it like a question or you can use it by making it like a statement with the infinitives, okay? So we say, oh, it, it might be a good idea or, uh, you know, uh, something you could do or why don't you, okay? Maybe you should, maybe you could, okay? Or directly with the ing. What about, and then the verb with ing. These are some ways to make suggestions, okay? Bookstore, in a dating service. One moment. Making suggestions is not difficult. Making suggestions or giving advice. Uh, yes, somebody was going to say something? No. Okay, so here's how the structure is. When you use the structures with the word about, that's the key. The key is the word about. When you use the word about, you're going to use a gerund. So you can use different forms. How about, what about, have you thought about? This is a making a suggestion, okay? But always is going to be with ing. How about visiting the zoo? How about going to the park? How, what about, have you thought about uh, taking her to dinner? Okay. Now we also have these other forms on when we can use the base form or the infinitives. Okay. Those are the expressions we use in order to talk about those. Okay. So very common way, it might be a good idea or a good idea could be a one thing you can do. Maybe you could, why don't you Okay, and it's like a question, but really it's a recommendation. And that's very common. Number four and number three are very common to hear all the time. Hey, why don't you try, you know, uh, starting the car? Why don't you do this? All right. And this is just another way to make those recommendations or opinions. We're going to watch the, the small video and then we're going to talk about it as soon as it's done. Ready? In English, there are many ways to make suggestions. Grab a pen and paper and take notes. Remember, you may play the audio program and the explanation as necessary. Making suggestions with gerunds. What about looking through the personal ads? Have you thought about joining an online dating service? With infinitives. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. One thing you could do is go to a discussion group at the bookstore. One thing you could do is to go to a discussion group at the bookstore. With modals plus verbs. Maybe you could go to a chat room on the internet. With negative questions. Why don't you join a dating service? Making suggestions is not difficult. You just need to remember which forms to go together. Follow me. Making suggestions or giving advice. Number one, how about, what about, have you thought about, plus gerund. Number two, it might be a good idea. One thing you could do is, plus infinitive. Number three, maybe you could, plus base form of the verb. 
Number four, why don't you plus base form of the verb. These are my problems. Can you give me some suggestions? How can I get along with my brother better? How can I improve my memory? I promise I'll read your suggestions. Okay, so we have a lot of different ways as we can see, of making those suggestions. Those suggestions are recommendations, opinions about something. So there are a couple of different forms. They can be used to talk about anything you want, okay? So how to make the best pupusas, where's the best restaurant, uh, how to fix the car, uh, how to you know, uh, clean the house, whatever you want. That's the structure that you're using, okay? And what about, how about, uh, why don't you, I think you should. All of these different forms are the best ways, or not the best ways, Th sorry, those are some of the ways that people make recommendations. Of course, in English, there are so many other ways that you can make. The most common that you use, or that you probably remember is the word should, <laughs> right? We should, they should, I should. But this is just another way to give more vocabulary and more structures into you. Okay. All right, so there we have. Let's try some of them out, okay? So go ahead, give me recommendations about different things. Mm, what about whatever you, and then complete it. Have you thought about whatever you want? Here, you only use that first part. The ing is the part where you change, okay? What about a, going to the movies before three o'clock you can save a lot of money right it's cheaper before that time or before two o'clock okay or have you thought about a you know uh, making a youtube channel uh, i'm living in el salvador okay or it might be a good idea to check out a i don't know the um, la, la internacional en multiplaza they might have your book are all of those okay, what they mean and how to use them? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what happens if I want to watch, a, you know, I want to watch Netflix and I don't have, a, and, I, and I don't want to pay? What can I do? <laughs> Maybe you could, um, Search the 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 movie in in Google exactly. or YouTube. Excellent. That's it. It's just a, your opinion, your recommendation. That's all it is. Okay. All right. What if I want to get a you know? What if I want to uh, clean my walls in my bathroom? What can I do? Okay, nobody cleans in the house. Okay, forget it, forget it. Don't worry, don't worry. Nobody cleans. Everybody's house and bathroom is dirty. Excellent, excellent. I, 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 I understand, I understand. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. Let's, <laughs> let's say I'm, I'm looking for a new job, okay? I want, I want a new job. What can I do? No, uh, the, 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 the answer is you should, you should hire the mate. That's one, that's one, that, but that's using should. Use one of the structures that we have. Uh -huh. Use one of the structures. Uh -huh. No should, you see all of them, but no should. Oh, yeah, should. yeah, yeah. Maybe you, you could, you could. 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 Yeah, could, could. Uh, uh, hire the maid or hire a maid. Hire a maid. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe you could hire a maid. Okay. Uh huh. Perfect. That's it. You see, it's the same idea, but instead of should. The difference is should is I give my opinion. And could, this is a possibility. This is mm -hmm. a suggestion. And should is the recommendation, which is a little bit stronger than the suggestion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Edwin, and we, we can use, why don't you join to uh, a word seeker. Yes, but uh, the word, the join is not necessary. That's what's going to change. So you're going to use why don't you uh, 
call an agency why don't you uh, mm -hmm. ask your friends but so the, the important is that the structure that we eliminate is this last word the looking the joining um, mm -hmm. the checkout okay the do or to go those are the ones that are not part of the, the original structure those are the examples that they give there okay Okay. Anybody have any questions about any of those? Okay, I want to learn how to cook. I want to be a, 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 an excellent chef. What can I do? Excellent, nobody cooks. All right, no. all right. Okay, no, Rocio, no. tell me, Rocio. <laughs> um, it might be a good idea to look videos in YouTube. Okay, all right. To watch videos on YouTube. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good, Rocio. All right, Romulo. You maybe you could uh, go to the to the school. Have you thought about go to? Uh, Culinary school. <laughs> excellent, <laughs> excellent. Remember, Elizabeth, with ing about going. Oh, how you thought about going? Okay. Mm -hmm. Always with ing. All right. Okay. I think it's pretty good. I think the ideas are, are everybody has them. Uh, we are going to pause there, and tomorrow we're going to have the opportunity to practice using them and checking. Okay. Remember, check the platform. If you have any questions, ask me tomorrow or. Or ask me now if you have any questions right now. I can help you out before we finish. If there's anybody that has a question about the platform. No, teacher. Okay, then have a good night and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys, have a great night. Okay, te Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank Bye -bye. you, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye.